Welcome back to Chacha, the program where opinion counts. Today's guest presides over a house that many of you will agree demonstrates considerably more maturity and sobriety than its counterpart in our bicameral parliament. The credit to some extent goes to the leadership of that house, the Senate. At its helm is Ekwe Ethuro, the Speaker. And we've been talking so far about this um, uh, turf war we seem to be seeing between the parliament on one hand and governors on the other hand. To what extent um, do you think this is an attempt for the Senate to uh, ensure that it's relevant? I hear that a lot and uh, it, it, it really it depresses me. Um, I think people must look at what are the functions of, 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 of the Senate. We oversight counties. So who is in charge of the county? It is a county governor. So we have a very special, unique relationship. One on promoting the interest, the other one on providing oversight. When we went to the Supreme Court, because the Division of Revenue Bill had uh, uh, process ignored the input by the Senate for p and uh, we had uh, asked for more money for the counties, we were together. But now when we are asking questions on how that expenditure was made, then we have become enemies. Or when the proceedings of impeachment from the county assembly of Embu reach to the Senate as per the Constitution with very clear timelines, then we are a problem. We'll come to the impeachment Those are things we must to do. Yeah. Yes. We'll come to the impeachment in a moment, but how do you, <laughs> it just seems that last year we had the National Assembly questioning the existence and the relevance of the Senate. This year we see you together, um, you know, joining forces against governors. It does seem as if um, your position isn't quite secure, whether or not it's enshrined in the Constitution. How can my position be threatened by some opinions out there in the wilderness? Even as we come together now, you still have proposals by some MPs who are saying we are going to reduce counties, we are going to do this, uh, including members of parliament themselves, their proposals to reduce. So this, this is a democracy, you know, people isn't it are questioning. In Canada, Canada uh, Senate, I'm told they have been questioning from I don't know which century, okay. and they still have a Senate. Without, well, without being defensive, I, how much work does the Senate have in fact? Because that's why the whole question of relevance or usefulness of the Senate comes up all the time. In fact, the summoning of governors, their re reposter is that these guys are idle. They just keep, you know, they have nothing to do, so they have to keep calling I us to create work for themselves. I am actually glad you are raising that issue, uh, David, <laughs> because I watched you one time and you, you, you said the Senate is completely idle. They should just close shop. I still hold that view. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you consult that view with your own desire to join the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but oh, I know. Let me answer him. Uh, uh, you know, you know. We, maybe we have not been good at uh, at uh, saying our position, but we really believe, and, uh, and I'm, I'm 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 quite happy that uh, you 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 have said some kind words about us. We we took a position as a Senate that we are a house of reflection, a house of wise people. Some may call us old men, but we have demonstrated that some of the youngest uh, senators also in town, in that particular house. And so we said we are going to do our job as provided within the Constitution. And that's, in fact, there is so much work to be done in terms of ensuring, uh, apart from the normal lawmaking, that the devolution process, which you, you all agree, I mean, people are demonstrating that uh, uh, county, uh, counties are coming up with some finance bills, is it taxation, is it uh, this? That process requires to be anchored in a national legislation so that it applies across uh, the country. That's the work of the Senate. Now, after that, this one year of giving the money, we must start doing more of the accountability. We could not have done it the last year. Right, right. Because we are just... <laughs> Trying to so what work up. is going to increase? Definitely. definitely. I think that is how we should put it, futuristically. No, no, you, yes. you still want to sustain the idea <laughs> that uh, we did not have work. Mm. To the extent of the money bid, yes. we did not have work there in terms of accountability then. 
but we had still the issue of trying to raise the revenue for them. There is a major work of transfer of functions. Okay. Um, our viewers are asking a lot of questions. Should signatures be collected from the public to send senators home? Um, how, what is your take on this? That came from Joe. And there's a similar question um, from... Uh, um, well, he doesn't quite say. I can see a plan to kill devolution by the government um, through frustrating governors. It's very unfortunate. That comes from Abi Salan of Lagdera in Garissa County. So there's a, you know, A, people are not quite seeing um, your relevance, but B, um, there's a feeling that the Senate is being used to frustrate devolution. I think on the first one, what is this that Senate has actually done that has annoyed people? to demand accountability on the basis of uh, use of uh, taxes, which is a constitutional job given to us by you people. Kenyans voted uh, literally seven out of 10 for this constitution. Two on the impeachment, we did not start the impeachment process. It was brought to us, but properly, and we discharged our responsibility within tight uh, guidelines, and we gave the best option available in terms of constituting a special committee so that the issues can be interrogated, uh, uh, lawyers can be brought uh, to defend the, uh, the people who are being impeached. We honestly organized us as a Senate to say, let's give uh, this process the best shot that we can. Right. That is a commitment we made to the Republic because we are acutely aware of our responsibilities. But if you can change the constitution through the popular initiative that is available to Kenyans if they mm -hmm. so wish. But that will not distract uh, us from our mission. So who checks the Senate? Good question. The people of the Republic you go to elections after five years, they will say, this is your scorecard, you have done well, you can go back. You can I guess recall. the question you, becomes... You can recall clause. Does the recall clause apply to senators as well? It does. Yeah. You can also there, recall... There's the recall yeah. clause. I think you what um, some, of our viewers are, yes. some of our viewers are questioning mm -hmm. is that if you can so quickly take action against governors when you um, see some sort of a impropriety, alleged impropriety, um, how does the public respond as quickly if they have a problem with senators? Why are they disputing a uh, problem with the Senate? The, action, the, quick, already action, a problem. the yeah. quick action we took is based on the, the law. I think yeah. people are not reading. Yeah, the law and is you try to, you try to blame us for, for, <laughs> for, for reading the law and doing our job. Yeah. Let, me, let, me, let me address that matter of uh, this whole notion and the crisis of separation of powers, which is at the core of the impeachment process. Yeah. Uh, what transpired? Because in the public domain, a court order was issued injuncting the Senate no, no, no. Even the, even the counter-assembly? Yes, yes. I mean, I'm From going the to the one that referred to him particularly, to the Senate. Of course, there had been an earlier one that tried mm -hmm. to stop the impeachment of, the, uh, of Governor Ambora at, in Embu by the county assembly It went, maybe, you know, the order wasn't delivered or whatever the chaos around there, not, not very clear yet. But with regard to the Senate, an order was issued by the High Court. I think at the time you had summoned the Senate... So can you place for us the timelines, when, what happened, and why you think you're justified in, the, in carrying on the impeachment process? I think that is a, the fairest comment I've had around uh, this republic for a long time, where we are really seeking information and the correct information. The, the, the constitution is very clear that within seven days, sorry, we start within two days, the Speaker of the Embu County Assembly writes to the Speaker of the Senate. After notice, seven days after notice has been received from the Speaker of the County Assembly, the Speaker of the Senate is required to convene the Senate for uh, impeachment theory. The Constitution requires the Senate at that point to do two things. One, it can do the plenary. Or it may, the word is may, which is optional, it may establish a special committee. And so we would have, we would have, uh, so by the time we were assist of the matter by the 29th of but January. Th before the committee no, was set up. Uh, timelines are important, before, then I will, okay, I will, the I will entertain before, your question. Before the committee, before you set up the committee, mm. you had the order, before the Senate 
set up that committee. They've caught out. Uh, uh, that is what I was trying to uh, yeah. to, ca to okay. count. Yes. <laughs> so that I also give you the timelines. Yes. 29, we assist over the matter. By Friday, uh, was it 30th? I can't remember what that first, the fr last Friday of January. We had the, what we call a rules and business committee, which, which convened the House on the 4th, which was a Tuesday afternoon to determine this matter. So by the time the, this court someone was supposed to be coming to us, it was, we were already seized of the matter. So it was too late. The, the understanding in, in, in the way we, the doctrine of separation of powers is that you cannot inject parliament. If we assist over the matter, you cannot stop us. And by the, even that order, we should be able to examine and say whether it is really applicable or not. I have also a responsibility to interpret the constitution. And in any case, every citizen of the Republic has a responsibility and definitely a state organ in terms of how parliament operates and parliament must operate you remember the agitation on section 58 59 in the last constitution <coughs> where we said you know don't allow the president to be uh, dissolving parliament or determining yeah. the calendar of parliament it was a big issue which we resolved in this in this so, time well, you know the point so by the time the court order came yes. it was we after the event which, which it was not after which the event yes. because yes. the yeah. actual act of in fact uh, you hadn't constituted the committee yeah. You had not even sat. The Somebody assembly hadn't been the hadn't clerk, come. You hadn't I, had, I had already summoned the house. You had. You had. Yes, the process the has started. So once you see, if a matter is before courts, you know this is how we appreciate our. Yes. And this is fundamental. And I think this is this is the heart of the conflict. Yeah. Yes. If you call, uh, in fact, you know, media, and uh, you are allowed because you play with the word supremacy. There is no supremacy. The heart of this contest is really how does a parliament operate as an independent body. We cannot be dictated by any entity on when to meet, whom to summon, how you go about it. That is our job. And that one should be left to us. That doesn't mean we can act with abandon. Once we are through with our processes, then the judiciary is there to see whether what we did was, was legal. right, was legal, or illegal or unconstitutional. That one is for them to determine and we'll respect that. But to purport to try to interfere with the procedures of parliament, that is not possible anywhere in this world. So in your view, mm. the order came in late. In fact, if there is any onslaught, to borrow the word from uh, the opening words, is from others. How, how come the chairman <laughs> of the <laughs> Constitutional Implementation Committee, he was here in this studio sitting down at the same table said you are wrong, dead wrong. Charles Nyachai, why? For his have you, have to understand. Uh, uh, have you profiled the issues that Nyachai has commented? And how many did he get right? But he's the chairman of the constitution. Okay, Mr. Nyachai is dead wrong on this one. Let's, let's, uh, let's mm. interrogate to your response there a little. Mm. When you say parliament is seized of the matter, mm. when does it become seized of it? After just receiving the notice from the uh, speaker of the yeah. of the county That's assembly, easy. correct. At that point, yes, there what can be no intervention no. because, in effect, no action concretely has been undertaken to actually describe as seized of it. You have simply received it correspondence, received, yeah. and that correspondence is being intercepted by an, a court order that says there is something irregular around this. It did not need to be fixed first. But th this is what you need to get clear. It did not intercept. Uh, when we assist of the matter, certain constitutional provisions. Cease means what? Cease is. Made aware of the matter. Exactly. That is the cease the part. Yes. Because you just received. Yeah. That cease is what you need to receive. Someone tells you what you have received is, is not right. It's wrong. You have received the wrong thing. That is what somebody says, yeah. and I and I tell that somebody I have received the wrong, one, uh, the right one. To to be seen why? in the matter no, means no, to begin an undertaking. Yeah. You know why? Actions. You know why? Why we assist over the matter? Because the moment it arrives to me, there is a constitution guiding me. In terms of time. In terms of what to do next. Next, yeah. and at this particular point. Yeah. So it it rolls. So let's be clear. What you're telling us yeah. is that um, no court order can interfere with those timelines, with those pro processes? None. Why not? 
because parliament is independent it must do its bit it's not about the independence it's about the also the role of a court in addressing an injustice that is about to be committed or has been committed that's correct when the when the matter is involving independ uh, an independent parliament yes which is acting on the of all those institutions apart from the top executive parliament is the embodiment of the will of the republic this is a gathering of people of the nation coming together who is this who is stopping now the nation you, from you have, you have, you have, now this is a sort of arrogant the one i want to clarify uh, no, speaker, don't put speaker, let me, no let me use my word yeah, no, 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 but, but that is a sort of uh, arrogance if, that the public if is